Do I say hi guys like how I used to? Or do we switch it up? Hi guys, we are on our way to Amsterdam and we're gonna go visit my parents. It's like I don't even know how to do this anymore, it's been so long. One thing about not doing something for a while is you think you forgot how to do it. But the second I picked up that camera, it was like I never left. We made it to my parents' house and if you haven't watched my life update then you don't actually know that they moved to Amsterdam a couple of months ago. Okay, I quickly changed my shirt because the color that I had on was not giving fall. I'm already preparing to be a fashion girly this fall season, so I ordered some clothes from Naked and I really want to share them with you. So let me show you the first and one of my favorite pieces that I got. A coat. Coats are literally my favorite thing about fall and I feel like in the last couple of years I just haven't splurged on myself when it comes to fall. Like I've done very just comfortable and I really wasn't trying to be a fashion girly but this year I am trying to be a fashion girly which is why I coat. So I got this coat right here and I love it. You see how long it is? I am obsessed with this thing. It literally fits so good. I have a size 40 and I just love how like oversized and like good it looks. I was a little freaked out in the beginning because I didn't think it had coats, but it has coats or coats, pockets. I didn't think it had pockets, but it has them. It's just, it's perfect. It's this nude, like beige color. I have another coat, but this is more like even though this is fall, I feel like you could really layer this to look perfect for winter, which is exactly what I want because I also want to be a winter fashion girly. But I love this. So comfortable and it's really heavy, which means quality is good. Or at least to me, that means quality is good. I don't know if you feel the same, but I feel like when a coat is not heavy, it just feels like it's cheap and that it's not going to really do anything for me when it's colder, you know? But this is a really nice quality. And then I also have this coat. This is more of like a, oh, a shirling or shearling, fitted shearling jacket. I love this. I showed my mom, like I literally just showed it to her and she was like, you have to borrow me that. I was like, yeah, sure. After I film my video, of course you could borrow it. So this is what it looks like. Can you already see me with my Instagram pictures? I don't do coffee. Like I personally just don't like to drink coffee. I don't like the taste of it. Anything coffee, I'm just not a fan, but I love hot chocolate or tea. So I'm going to have like my little tea mug or not mug, teacup and or maybe my hot chocolate, you know, I go to Starbucks, get a little hot chocolate and just take my pictures with this, you know? Oh, I can't wait, I'm so excited. Yeah, I got this one in a size 40 as well and it fits perfectly. And I feel like this is perfect as well for the fall season because it's not too big and over the top. It just looks nice and it's a little more subtle. I do love subtle. I'm a very basic girl and I love me some basics. So I love this. Maybe I should keep this on. Oh. It does shed a lot, if you can't tell, it sheds a lot, but that's fine. We have lid rollers for that. And then I also got two jeans because I am working on my capsule wardrobe. I really want, oh, <laughs> charger. I really want to start being more conscious of not only the things that I'm buying, but making sure that I'm getting things that are quality and that I could keep in my, um, closet for a long time so that's basically what I'm trying to do with this new fashion girly that I'm trying to become and really just buy like statement pieces or basics that I could mix and match with any and everything so I don't have a black jeans that fit so I decided to get a skinny jeans a skinny black jeans and I got this in a size 40 as well I must say though it fits very tight I feel like I could have gotten a size bigger so that it's not too tight on me i could also try to lose some weight to fit in it but um it is really tight but it looks amazing and i love how high-waisted it is it's actually high-waisted i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of trying to shy away a little bit from the high-waisted 
but I did want to have a high-waisted option in my closet and this one is not high-waisted this one is mid I think wait let me see yeah this is a mid-waist slim jeans and the reason why I wanted to get the high-waisted and a mid-waist jeans is because I really just want to play with like different types of jeans I feel like in the last couple of years since high-waisted has become a thing all I got was high-waisted jeans and I just don't want to do that anymore anyways I'm gonna go put on my summer top again we are in Amstelveen today we uh, just drove here to go to the mall thank you I like this one more for winter like it's more a winter scent oh, can I smell that one again? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. We're now at the McDonald's. Terribly unhealthy. We're gonna get some... Um, what is it now? Mango smoothies and uh, some fries. Tell the people what you bought. I bought... Invisible, flawless. Wordless primer. Fun? Yeah, you can't. I'm fun. I'm not going to promote it because I'm not going to pay for it. Let's see if they change the taste. Let's see if it's a little bit. Oh, it's a little bit. It's a little bit. Mmm. Okay, let's see. I have a mango. What is it? Mmm. Mango pineapple smoothie. Well, it still tastes just that as good. It's so dry. Yeah, this plastic. I mean, paper straws. Volgens mij wel. Oh, nee. <laughs> I love it. I want to live here. Mensen hebben wel praxis. I love a praxis. Nu gaan we naar de gamma. En een gamma. Oh ja, nu zijn wij? Krukkoes. Oh, we're in Krukkoes. Ah, Intratuin. Daar moet ik gaan. Ja. It's okay. I wanted to go to an intratuin and somehow we ended up at a Woon Boulevard, which is basically just a place where they have a bunch of different stores for just like interior design and things like that. So I guess that's what we're doing for the rest of the day. I kind of like it. I like it too. Yeah. I just saying, mm -hmm. seen better. <laughs> mm. We're now going to Entratine because I want to go look at some artificial flowers for our wedding or potential artificial flowers. I don't know yet how I'm going to do it with uh, like the wedding series. I was thinking to do a wedding series. I feel like that would be fun. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to go about showing certain things. I guess we'll just see. We'll just go with the flow and see what feels right. I think. I see fake flowers. Faux flowers. Oh wait, let's talk about it. Kind of like a bit of like Caribbean vibe type of thing. Yeah. But would we have an orange wedding, Adia? Yeah, I like it. I really like it. Picture, picture, picture. Oh my gosh, I think I really like it. Well, I feel like we should do like, because I kind of like these stomach with, with the hint of pink. See, like it's kind of like an ombre-ish kind of color. Show the camera. I really like it. I really love it. Wait, let's see what it looks like with the hint of blue that we had in mind. You guys are getting a sleep blue. Yeah, look, blue over there. That's a bunch of blue. This literally looks like 
the flowers we saw today. That is so pretty. Y'all, this wedding is gonna cost us so much money. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Like more of a white color. What about the yellow we had in mind? To add the yellow? Cause like this is very orange. But let's look at yellow. Look, they have yellow kinang. So like what if we do like a because I really like a pale type of yellow. Wait a minute. The way that they have this thing in here is really not handy. Okay. And then put this together. Just for the I love it. Like genuinely love it. To have like the off-white and then the the well that's isn't it purple? It's a little more purple, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little more purple, but I like it. I, I, like, the I like the color combo. I don't necessarily like that flower, but yeah, I like the, the color combo. combo. Oh my gosh. This is making my heart so happy. Yeah. I can't believe I get to marry this man. I'm so excited. Keep us up. I know, I'm so excited. We also have to make a bouquet for me, eh? See, and then the song is playing, it's perfect. I actually really like it, but it's like, it's not purple, it's like a soft purple. What's that? It's blue. I don't think it's blue. Yeah, the kind of, it's gonna be Zoe Zoe, very messy. I kind of like it. Mm. Kind of have a certain. Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> okay. I think I kind of like that one as well. Maybe more something like this. But this feels so empty. No. You know? I don't like it. What about something like this? These look very fake though. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> okay, we'll just look for something else. I like it. It's doing something for me. I like it. It's a kind of, I guess, mask. You don't, I don't know, know where what begins. It's yeah. Like it's one cohesive. I think I kind and of like it. This looks like it grows into this. Yeah, like it's still small. Like it's still small. Okay. Looks like something. Wait, wait. I do it. I do it. Take the phone away, right? <laughs> the phone will pop it. <laughs> pink, a bit of purple, pink. Hmm. That's kind of pretty. In the blue? Yeah. <laughs> Stop! How are you going to dance during the first dance? Do you practice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get the camera shy? Wedding shopping. What do you want to do? Yeah, So, all is so good. Yeah. This This was our favorite. <laughs> and it cost 15 euro. <laughs> for one. No, 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 no. Papa, papa. Now, I don't want it all to just be wedding talk. However, I am busy editing my proposal video right now and I am loving the way that it is looking. I'm literally just rough editing. I don't even have... Oh, there was some sun, huh? Wow. It's been so gray. Okay, wait, one thing at a time. I'm editing my proposal vlog. I'm loving it and I feel like it's gonna turn out really nice even though I'm not going to add a lot of footage for you guys to be able to see. The reason why, which I didn't explain in the video, the reason why is because I, I feel like it's something so personal and so intimate that happened and it just feels weird to me for some reason. I always pictured that when I was going to get engaged that I would have this whole video about it and make it a whole like social media moment and it just didn't feel like that like literally and I kid you not when it happened I put my phone in the hall because we have like or we my parents I like to think of this house as like mine <laughs> but my parents actually have 
a like shoe closet in the hallway and that's where I put my phone down when like I realized what was going on and for a good I would say hour to two hours after the proposal I was like wait where's my phone I was just in such a like different world I was living like outside of my body and not for one second that I care what was being filmed where my phone was angles pictures like I don't even think we have pictures of the proposal itself happening which is also the reason why I decided to have a engagement shoot to announce on social media that we're engaged because like I don't have anything the day after though I wanted to do like I don't know I felt like I wanted to do a separate video but I guess I could kind of talk about it now as well like it doesn't really matter like you guys you know you guys get the tea um the day after we still have some of the decorations and all the balloons actually came down because he had balloons like on the ceiling of the house and um, all the balloons started to come down because of the helium coming out of it so i did take a picture of the ring but like that's about it like that's all i really have of the engagement which is perfectly fine like i just i enjoyed the moment so much and it was so special that it didn't even matter to me like all pictures videos like nothing mattered so um yeah that's the reason why i'm not really like adding any videos and the video that i do have that i have on my family cam that was filmed from my sister's point of view i feel like i might add some of the clips in it which i haven't done yet and if i don't it's because i just feel like it's too much i don't know I, we'll see how it turns out I don't know I just I want you guys to know the story but that little intimate moment I feel like that's just something that I don't necessarily want to share and I hope that's okay like same thing goes for like birth right like when I'm in labor I say birth like birth. the birth of my first child God willing um, I find it very brave that there are different women on here on youtube that share their whole like birth vlog and share them super vulnerable like laying down in pain crying screaming i don't think i could ever do that personally and you know that's it's kind of i know it's not the same whatsoever however i feel like the intimacy of the moment and the sacredness of the moment is kind of the same you know at least for me and i feel like that's also something that i wouldn't want to share on social media i might like tell you about it and how it was but i don't necessarily feel like the video of me screaming and crying in pain hopefully it won't be that painful no that's so delusional i'm trying to be very delusional about that but that's for another time um but just that moment I feel like is so sacred and it's just something that I don't feel like I would want to share either. Anyways, we're going like all over the place. I just wanted to give you guys a little update on the whole wedding things. Um, we, we're planning, but we're not planning like we're supposed to. We know for sure that um, we're gonna do our wedding on Aruba. Like, oh my gosh, look, there's sun. Oh, it's gone again. Oh, it's been such a gray summer like the summer just isn't summering it's so annoying but anyways so we know that we're gonna do it on Aruba that's for sure because most of my fiance uh, fiance most of my fiance's um, family is actually on Aruba and we do have a lot of family here as well and I did think about having a second like party or celebration for the family that lives here but financially unless i get like super like extremely extremely financially blessed in the next two months i don't think that it's possible financially but that's just something that i really need to think about um because i don't know how much of my family members that live here are actually going to be able to go to aruba so it's just something that i still need to sit down and think about um but Aruba is definitely set in stone. Uh, we are sending out our save the date soon, which is also really exciting. We don't have colors yet. I have an idea of what I want and what I like, but I don't know yet, like for sure, for sure, if that's what it's gonna be. So that'll probably also be in the next vlog. We don't have a venue. 
I have an idea for a venue, um, but we still need to see if it, there's like availability. Like we want certain family members that live on Aruba to actually go and visit the places to see what they look like. Um, what else? I don't know. I think that's like all we really have figured out. We have a guest list, but that guest list has been done since like last year January maybe even um, I'm maybe being dramatic I don't know exactly around what time we had it done but it's been done for a long time we actually did a lot more wedding planning before getting engaged than we are doing now that we are engaged like in the last two months I really didn't pick up anything to do any planning like the file on the laptop may be opened twice maybe even once but it's definitely time for us to get things planned and just you know put it down on paper like okay this is what we're doing and we're not changing it one thing though i want to know i don't know if you're married but if you are married and you had a wedding or even if you didn't necessarily have a wedding but you had like a bit of time to plan something to celebrate um being married or getting married whichever you want to call it um how long before the day did you get your wedding dress i feel so much anxiety to go and get a wedding dress i feel like if i go now i might not like it because it is happening next year and i know that's technically not enough time but i feel like if i buy a dress like next month right I might not like it anymore next year and it just I don't know it scares me a lot like it literally makes me so nervous and that's why I feel like I don't want to go wedding dress shopping yet like there's no excitement whatsoever for for wedding dress shopping because of the stress that I feel like I will have with like the choice in wedding dresses if that makes sense I feel like I'm rambling a little too much but I'm just really nervous. I am about to clean up the kitchen and make some lunch because I haven't had any breakfast, but it's not breakfast time, you know? So um, so I just really uh, want to go ahead and do that. But I was just thinking that I didn't even show you what it was like to tell some of my friends and family that were engaged sadly we had to call and we couldn't tell them in person which really sucked however i just felt like it doesn't matter who you tell if you don't tell all of them behind each other someone's gonna find out from someone else's mouth that isn't ours so I really wanted to make sure to call everyone and just let everyone know like ourselves and I did film some of the reactions. There's something just so special about getting to tell the people that you love that something nice happened to you and that they're excited for you and just to see everyone's like excitement like in their faces and their smiles and the things that they're saying is just so amazing i seriously loved it so much and that's why i feel like i just have to share it with you so um yeah i like how i'm just holding this pot <laughs> so here are the reactions of our friends and family finding out that we're engaged i want to show you something yes <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
<laughs> Thank you. Like, ah, put a ring on it, yeah. It's just, I can make you sure to put a ring on it. <laughs> it's like a whole man to be thing. That's nice. It's magic, man. It's magic. <laughs> yeah, so, so nice. I'm really happy to, to hear that. And yeah, God's blessing on you all. It's all that old so man. I'll say it, eh? What money do you think I have? We're in the mall and she can't find anything she wants to buy. 